Hello beautiful people. Um, I thought today's video um, would be more of a technical one and to answer a question which is basically if you're living in a bud for a little while uh, where do you go and get your groceries from? Uh, the answer is this place I'm going to take you now called Bintang and uh, it has basically like a Tesco or sort of Sainsbury's but with an Asian twist and uh, let's go and have a walk around see what we can get it's also kind of got some hardware stuff to it plus um, ATMs there we are Bintang I also want to do a video about the different ATMs in uh, in Bali because uh, they all take different commission rates from me and some don't take any at all but I think actually they give you a lower interest rate so let's see how we go Start the start off with the uh, fruit and veg. Um, I wouldn't recommend getting the bread from here, but going to that daily baguette for bread. This place is great for mangoes, dragon fruit, papaya. These are these weird fruits that I do not like. They, um, I described them in an earlier video as uh, like dragon testicles. They're basically, how, how are, they're bitter inside, um, not, not tasty, unlike uh, papaya of course, which is absolutely divine. And they have lots of western stuff here, um, at a premium of course. I want to try one of those. Yeah. Ah, for a first time I get to film you filming me. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much. Hmm, very nice. Yeah, they are... Uh, when they hand out free food, there's always somebody else taking photographs. Quite eerie. And the meat section is good here. Yeah? Well, that looks lovely. Sorry to any vegetarians looking right now. Chicken is good, all very fresh. And the fish too. One, one thing I always forget to do, when you get your veg, before just putting it in your basket, you need to bring it here to get it weighed, and then they put a sticker on it, a sticker that looks like this, um, so that they know how much to charge you at the till. Otherwise, you may be in a big queue at the till, and, uh, and then the cashier poor thing will have to come and run here with your veg while holding up the queue. Um, They've got some amazing honeys here. This is divine. Oh, well worth it. A great selection of nuts. Nuts and a vast amount of milk. Every kind of milk you can want. Oat milk. Um, while we're here. Ah. Now basically if you're going to do a long haul bike ride, I highly recommend buying some of this, like a litre, a big bottle of it. Pop one of them in your bike. That has uh, all the, uh, the good electrolytes. Um, to keep you hydrated because when you're doing a big ride out 
the main issue is dehydration because you think you're in in a breeze and you don't feel feel any uh, you don't feel the heat but the heat is still there and it's still kind of extracting moisture from your body and minerals so oh Where is it? Where is it? I have a ginger, a ginger sugar here, which is delicious. Um, I actually was going to get a couple of these ginger teas. These are, these are just fine. Love them. I might not uh, let you stand in the queue with me though, because often the queues are quite long. So all the Western pastas, pastas that you want are here as well, and of course ramen noodles. And cereals, but what is lovely to have is just uh, some porridge, like this stuff with some of this sprinkled on top and then some papaya or banana and then of course coffee now I'm going to do a coffee video I used to love my coffee and I've actually drunk most of the coffee types here um, but in the last couple of months I've actually stopped drinking it um, because uh, yeah because of inflammation I had a problem with my toe and uh, and basically without drinking the coffee, the inflammation went down and I can now do these walks again, hence the channel. But this one here, the weasel coffee, or luwak coffee, um, I'll walk around and tell you about it. But this coffee actually started in Vietnam and uh, the French colonised Vietnam and started manufacturing coffee there. And the peasants couldn't afford to, to drink the... Uh, produce of which they were making but they noticed that little weasels would basically eat the berries and then would poo them out now the digestive system of a weasel is very short so from eating it to digesting it out it's only about 45 minutes to an hour and then they would basically triple roast the uh, the, the coffee bean poo and found out that actually the the bile from the weasel, from the weasel, actually uh, takes away the bitterness of the coffee, and so now it's a delicacy. It's the second most expensive coffee you can buy in the world. And if, in case you want to know what the most expensive coffee in the world is, um, ask me in the comments, and I'll tell you. Some fascinating crisp sections here. They have a little hardware section too. Hello, sir. Mm. Pots and pans in Bali are ridiculously expensive. So if you're planning to live here, uh, bring your own. You know, I'll save you 40 quid or 60 bucks. stationary section mm -hmm. so uh, be warned and also if you are in this bin tang you'll know where to get shaving foam don't bother looking at that section because you'll never find it they're right here by the tills. Oh, let's have a look in the wine. Wine's generally around 50, 60 pound or 70, 80 bucks a bottle. Hello, can I walk around? Thanks. 
How are you doing today? Okay, that's actually quite good. <coughs> 250, that's about 16 quid. Captain Morgan's, about 20 quid that bottle, that's actually a very good price. That's actually a very good price. And a small bottle of uh, vodka for around the same. But it's the wine, wines are where they get you. About 20 pound a bottle. That one's about 40 pound a bottle. That's a nice pen pot, that. I do like my Australian reds. Lovely. Thank you very much. Um, I'm going to leave. I'm going to leave this and then go out, finish the video and then come back and pay it. I'm not going to put you guys through this queue. Although, actually it's quite, we'll go down quite fast. Um, I'm going to take you upstairs quickly, actually. Hello, I'm just going up. Yeah, so the whole, they've got a whole top floor, just all designated to uh, the tourist things. Hello, how are you? Just gonna walk around. All generally dusty and unloved. Uh, these are actually quite cool. And that is the upstairs of Bintang in Ubud. In case you didn't know, Bintang is the name of the local Balinese, if not Indonesian, beer. Like you have a Heineken in America, or Budweiser in America. And in England, a Grolsch, or a, I don't know what you'd say a local beer is.
Thanks guys. I love it when they wave. Hello. <laughs> Alright, I forced that. Hello my friend, you alright? Yeah. I bought a, a charger off that guy. I know him quite well because he kept not working. Can I help tell him to come back? Um, so that is Bintang guys. Um, so yeah. And as you can see if you need, there's also a post office in the corner. And a little electrical shop, um, probably not the best prices. And they do a 50,000, oh it's gone up to 60 now, a vegetarian buffet here which is okay. Um, enjoy, um, have a lovely day.